Whistleblowing is a term that gets bandied around often between employers and employees without either party necessarily being clear on what's protected. The law is set out in the Public Interest Disclosure Act 1998 and the person making the disclosure has to be either an employee or a worker, not self-employed or a volunteer. The person needs to have disclosed information that tends to show that one of the following has occurred, is occurring or is likely to occur. A criminal offence, a miscarriage of justice or a breach of legal obligation, or danger to the health and safety of an individual, damage to the environment or deliberately concealing any of the above. The wrongdoing may concern the employer, another employee or a third party. It doesn't matter whether the conduct occurs inside or outside of the UK. Disclosure can be verbally or in writing and it doesn't have to be identified as whistleblowing at the time. The information disclosed can be new or it can be drawing attention to something already known. For example, it could be a simple conversation between an employee and their line manager where facts that they're concerned about are conveyed. It's important that facts and not just statements are made. For example, if an employee said the company's acting illegally without explaining the facts upon which they base that, it may not be protected. The person has to reasonably believe that the facts are true. A tribunal will assess whether it's objectively fair for them to hold that view based on the information that they had and the position that they held. It's got to be more than just rumours. The person's also got to reasonably believe that their disclosure is in the public interest. What that means is still being decided by the courts at present, but in essence it means that the concern has got to affect or be able to affect more than just the person complaining. The disclosure must be made to the employer or to other prescribed bodies such as HMRC, Health and Safety Executive, Charity Commission or other industry regulators. It's usual for an organisation's whistleblowing policy to say that the person should raise their complaints with the employer first. Whistleblowing is a complex and emotive area and high compensation can be awarded to those that are protected. Do take legal advice on this complex area if you have any concerns.